Welcome back to another drum recording here at Zona Recording Studios. Today we're doing the DW kit. Give you a little rundown of what I got going on. Um, here on the kick drum we got a Audix D6 on that kick drum. Right above I got my rack tom and I have Another condenser mic in here that's I don't know what it is I think it's a uh, electro voice I believe I have three of those I have one on the bottom of the floor uh, rack tom one on the smaller floor tom another one on my large floor and let's move over to i have two snare drums this is a dw snare uh, mic with a 421 here zennheiser and the other piccolo snare i have a um i believe this is a earthworks dm 20. then i have uh, another zennheiser condenser mic not sure exactly what that is. And then overhead, I have two Rhodes, not Rhodes, actually, these are Samars, um, Samar ribbon mics. I waited forever to get these microphones. But they do sound good. So I tried to basically get them as close to over my head as possible. I'm getting a pretty good um, overhead there. I kind of tilted these mics a little bit, a little more to the left and right, right there. Maybe he's going through the hear back system so I can hear everything. Let's go check out the board. Here on the console, I have it set up um sort of like a one-to-one -one. and what that means is on the lower fader here this is my monitoring right here so over here i have my kick i got the uh tamas snare drum my rack tom small floor tom large floor tom hi-hat my drum overheads um what do we got here dw snare bass guitar and regular guitar so at the top here what you do is you have to engage um, the small fader directs the small fader so that's going to send the signal right directly to Pro Tools as I'm going into Pro Tools um, I am applying some of the 550 AEQ on everything right down the line seem to add a lot going in and then over here on track 20 was it 22 I got my click track right here and then the return for my effects are coming over here on 23 and 24 so this way you can um, regulate the amount of effect to the, to the track um, what you want to do, though, also is enable, on the console, you want to enable your uh, walk 7 and 8 and then make it pre so that you can set up a headphone mix that's separate to the engineer's mix. So whatever I do here won't affect the large fader. So here we are back in the uh, control room here. Um, Let's go back to what I did. Um, so I have it spread out on the console here. Uh, all the different uh, tracks so I can solo stuff. So let's do that. Let's let solo stuff. So let's, uh, I'm just going to hear the, let's hear just, just uh, the kick drum. Mm -hmm. Let's just do just a kick. Here, let's go. Um, there's your kick. Bring in the 
snare. If I can just do overheads are gonna be here. Seven eight. That's my overhead. So I'm sending some back to which is here on 24. some of the uh, compression on my master bus and engage too which is like the api 2500 but it's in the console version which is the 529c i guess c stands for console i really don't know um what else that's really it um as i was saying in an earlier video um, I just uh, upgraded to um, Pro Tools Ultimate with HDX, and it's a freaking dream. Um, no latency with when you're tracking with the plugins. Um, it's just it makes playing a joy, and and also it's stupid um, stable, you know as well. Any questions? Reach out. Peace.